Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Thomas of Beckett. My name is Henry, and I will be the leader this morning. With me today is Dennis, and he will be doing the people's part. Please follow along with him as you're able. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Divinaiden. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pastor and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. A reading from the book of Ephesians. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of this glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in our, your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all of the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to join in affirming our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he, uh, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For people from on high, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Charles our King, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city of Mississauga, for every city and community, and for those who live in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather 
and for an abundant harvest and for all to share let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for those who travel by land water or air for the sick and the suffering for prisoners and captives and for their safety health and salvation let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for our deliverance from all affliction strife and need let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for the absolution and remission of our sins and offenses let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for all who have died let us pray to the lord lord have mercy remembering all the saints we commit ourselves one another and our whole life to christ our god to you O lord almighty god you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you and you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together you will hear their requests fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life for you father are good and loving and we glorify you through your son jesus christ our lord in the holy spirit now and forever amen and now as our savior christ has taught us we are bold to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god thank you for joining us today may the god of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the holy spirit amen